Turning now to the increasing outcry over the release of the man accused in the subway feces attack. In addition to that disturbing crime, he faces a slew of other charges. And tonight, there are alarming social media posts from the suspect talking about getting out on the street without bail. Morgan Mackay covering this for us tonight. She is live on the Upper East Side with Reaction Morgan. Stephen Laurie, we got a chilling look today at Frank Abroca's Facebook page and found posts of him linking demons to sleep paralysis and making other strange claims. And just today, he posted a video about the fecal incident. Here is a snapshot. The species that so the scenario, Rob, right, should keep every female in their right mind away from me. In a rambling Facebook video, 37 year old Frank Abroqua bragged about being released from jail without bail after surveillance footage showed him allegedly smearing human feces on a woman in the subway. Does everybody know Frank does him. I shoot any things that I get my hands on. You get what I'm saying? He also posted a picture saying, quote, never been up north, never will. The NYPD says Abroqua has an extensive criminal history and has been arrested nearly two dozen times, including two arrests this year on assault charges and an arrest last fall where he is accused of spitting on a Jewish man, which is a hate crime. Head of the MTA, Jan Lieber, says he is just as horrified by the attack and wants to ban repeat offenders from the subway. The state already has a law that can ban people from public transit for up to three years if they are convicted of unlawful sexual conduct or if they are convicted of assaulting an MTA worker. But this law has only been used twice. It makes no sense to me that a guy who has a bunch of priors for attacking people, including a hate crime, and who does that horrific attack, really victimizing somebody, can be let out of jail, you know, let out by the court and just walk right back to that subway station. Mayor Eric Adams also condemned the attack and once again blamed the state's bail reform laws for allowing a broker back on the streets. MK Kashian, a civil rights attorney, however, disagrees and says this case is not a failure of the bail reform law, but rather a failure on the part of the judge to set bail, pointing to the number of open cases against him. This person had open misdemeanor cases from the beginning of this year and because of that those subsequent cases were eligible to have bail set very clearly under the law. Now, the Bronx District Attorney's Office says they asked the judge to set bail, but the judge refused, while the Office of Court Administration says their hands are tied under this bail reform law. Bottom line, Stephen Lurie, prosecutors and judges are not on the same page when it comes to this bail reform law. Live from the Upper East Side, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News. Stephen Lurie, back to you. All right, Morgan, thank you.